Hi, my name's Emma, and let's talk spooky stuff. Hi, friends. It's that lovely time of the year where I like to make things a little bit more disturbing. I cannot help it. It is in my nature. I have to put a twist on everything. I did a list of Christmas horror movies last year and I included a lot of disturbing films on that list, as I do. Uh, and I've linked that down below. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. But 2022 just brought the heat. So I'm here to add a few more that came out just this year and that I found. Some hidden gems and things that I've left off. But these ones are purely disturbing. So here it is for those sickos who like those traumatic Christmas warm and fuzzies. Here's a few to add to your to watch list this Christmas time. Starting with perhaps my favorite on the list, Yule Log. Adult Swim has had several successful shorts, including unedited footage of a bear and too many cooks. These are fake commercials, infomercials, and late night sitcoms with a dark twist, creating unique, humorous, yet edgy content. And then they present it on platforms where you would usually find this kind of content without any warning. The concept for these shorts came from Adult Swim producer Casper Kelly, who suggested an idea for schedules in between normal programs. They wanted off the wall, bizarre imitations that the audience was not prepared for. And these short films work best because of the surprise aspect, starting as one thing and then changing into something more terrifying. And sometimes even a little traumatizing. Enter your log. This one was written and directed by Casper Kelly and it has a full length runtime. The film starts as a looped fireplace video with crackling fire sounds laid with Christmas music for people around the world to put on their TVs to enjoy, to share a little cheer. The idea is based on the Yule Log that traditionally aired from 1966 to 1989 on Channel 11 in New York City. Later revived and now it's a common streaming format. But the Yule Log video is interrupted when a disturbing event takes place. Of course I'm staying vague because this film's magic is in the erratic, surprising turns. The film takes place within one shot although it reframes a few times as the plot thickens. It cleverly weaves in many twists and surprises which keeps the audience on their toes. The whole film works off the uneasy feeling and Adult Swim's reputation for being dark and unpredictable. And with a longer runtime, this film is able to elevate this madness to new heights. And I promise you, you will not see what's coming next. Mashing so much into one film does feel like it may be trying to bite off too much, but the uncertain chaos is both dark and humorous, remaining self-aware and to the point. It's to entertain and shock its viewer. Nothing more and definitely nothing less. Either way, you'll never look at a Yule Log the same. Shutter just released its brand new film to add to the Christmas list. Directed by Alison Locke, the apology will slow things down if you're looking for a solid crime horror thriller with darker tones. Set within one house on Christmas Eve, we follow Darlene, played by Anna Gunn, who is preparing to host a Christmas for the first time in years. Darlene has a spotty past and as a recovering alcoholic, she's finally in a good place where she is excited about the holidays. But her pre-Christmas jitters soon turn into something more alarming when someone from her family's past shows up on her doorstep. The film is pretty straightforward, but the dark darker elements within the storyline contrasted with the Christmas decor was just something a little bit special, a little bit disturbing. The Apology also has an isolated atmosphere as it takes place amidst a snowstorm. And although it's set within a cozy suburban home, the weather makes it feel more remote. One of the reasons that I enjoyed this film is because it brings to life the sentiment that no family is perfect. And what better time than Christmas to air out some of those disturbing dark secrets. But my main critique with the film is it is surprisingly straightforward once all is said and done. So if you're looking to add a little spice to your Christmas wrapping time this year, The Apology is the perfect disturbing horror thriller to stream via Shudder. A little bit of a hidden unnerving gem, Body is a stripped back frustration film from 2015. When I say frustration film, I really mean it. This one is one of those painful, anxiety inducing films that entices the viewer to scream at the TV. Cheers to my patron Patrick for introducing me to this one. We actually had a watch party with it, which was really awkward in some regards. 
If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Disturbing films are very interesting to watch as a group. This one is directed by Dan Burke and Robert Olson, who you may know from 2020 sci-fi horror Significant Other. We start with three friends who meet on Christmas Eve who try to enjoy the time together even though there's not much to do in their sleepy town. One of the girls has a great idea, let's head to my uncle's mansion. Here they spend their time exploring his huge house, looking at his expensive car collection and hanging out in the games room. But trouble comes knocking when a stranger arrives home unannounced. The film will really have you frustrated with the decisions that the characters make and how far they're willing to go. It's an interesting dynamic but even more so it's an interesting setup. The film only runs for one hour and 14 minutes but because we don't get much of a lead in for the characters before they're faced with these choices that dictate their whole life, we learn about who each character really is through the predicament. It's an uncomfortable watch that will test the viewer's patience. If you're into anxiety inducing films, this one is the perfect stocking stuffer. I believe it is streaming on Prime in America, but you can also rent it on YouTube. And if Christmas means family and a cozy getaway, well, The Lodge is the most disturbing holiday you can experience. Taking place over the Christmas break, we follow a soon to be stepmom as she attempts to bond with her partner's children in a secluded lodge. But just as she feels like she could be breaking through to the children, a strange event puts her in a tailspin. And now her dark past floats to the surface as she tries to remain afloat mentally for the children. I left this one off my Christmas list from last year because I didn't think it was quite Christmassy enough, but we're going for darker and more disturbing stuff this year, so this one really does take the cake. The film is a beautiful, haunting, psychological gut punch, topped with a great cast including Riley Keough, Jaden Martell, and Alicia Silverstone. The film is by the same directors as Goodnight Mummy, matching the ominous, dark tone. There's not much I can say that will prepare you for this film, just make sure you're rugged up because it's a grueling journey full of twists and discomfort. Again, if you want some more Christmas movies, I did a video last year ranking them from lighter to more disturbing, so definitely check that out. These are some just additional hidden darker gems. I know you guys love that stuff. And if you do love what I do here on my channel, I would love if you could subscribe and like these videos. It really helps me out. And if you did want to support what I do here, you can also do that via Patreon. I always have the link down below. It's just $2 a month and you get bonus videos every single week and they're more personal, a little bit more raw. If if you're into that. I also have a Discord and we do watch parties every month. So if you wanna check that out, it's just down below. But thank you so much for being here. Happy holidays and stay spooky and stay disturbed. <laughs> Bye friends.